Because I don't really cook, I kinda cook. But maybe I really cook, but not really. It's just kinda. So um, today we're gonna be making barbecue chicken quesadillas. Um, the theme of most of my stuff is that it's quick, it's easy, and it's a 10% protein ratio. This is what I look for in meals because I'm a crazy busy mom of four. I'm also looking for something that's a 10% protein ratio, and I'm looking for something that's healthy, right? So, and something I enjoy, honestly. See, okay, I played with this last night, super excited about it. I'm gonna show you guys our ingredients first. All right, but these will be 370 calories for one of them with 38 grams of protein. Um, very filling and very delicious. So you're gonna need every, what every recipe I, I say we always need, right? Extreme wellness tortillas. I like the sun-dried tomato. Um, save a dollar when you purchase another one, look at that. Um, we are also gonna have on there cheese, you could get like a low fat cheese. I just have a Mexican blend. It's gonna be less calories, higher protein ratio. If you get a white cheese, um, as opposed to this. So in case you wanna make it even healthier, I just have rotisserie chicken because it was easy. Usually I have uh, like a shredded chicken that I've prepped for the week and I would use that over the rotisserie, but this is so easy. When I'm using rotisserie, I'm not using the skin and I'm not using like the fat layer that's on top of the chicken or like the little fatty pieces. I'm using the breast meat and it's gonna end up looking like so. So I just take the breast meat, whoa! You guys got that? Okay, I ended up using that breast meat. Uh, I also have barbecue sauce. I just have a Kinder's, uh, up to you which barbecue you want to use. Ranch seasoning. Have you guys made Greek yogurt ranch dip with this before? So good! Or pour this on uh, cottage cheese? Freaking fantastic! So, just a little side note, okay? I've got that. And then I have salt, pepper, and some spray oil. So here's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna cook this together. If you wanna pause, go get the recipe, go get the ingredients. Quincy's helping right now. Then you want me to be your chair, buddy, so you can help us? Yeah. You wanna be involved? Guys, Quincy wants to come help, so just stay there. And I see the girls. Yeah, you can see the girls. Okay, come right here. Come on up. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand. Go up there, go up there. There's no girls, he doesn't know. Crystal, just go ahead and talk to him, okay? So I'm gonna heat up my oven. I'm just gonna spray it with a little bit of avocado oven. My pan, you guys, get it together. Spray it with a little avocado oil. This is gonna like seem like, of course, this all seems pretty easy. I'm gonna grab my two, two of these tortillas. All right, so if you wanted to make a single or a half, you can have one after I make our quesadilla, okay? So I've got our two tortillas, and then I'm gonna add Okay, in a second, I'm gonna add a little garlic. Okay, I'm just gonna take that one. You better eat it or you're gonna be in trouble. And you'll go to time out. Don't worry, just drop it on the tissue a little bit because it's fine, it's, they're actually like good snacks, just plain. So um, I'm gonna pour a little bit of the ranch seasoning on my pan so that it's gonna make my tortilla taste a little bit by ranch. So I'm taking my tortilla and then I'm gonna like, like smush it around in a little circle so now it's smushed to it. Then. You guys, how easy is this? I'm gonna take my chicken and I'm gonna spread it and I'll kind of show you guys in a second. I'm gonna spread it along my tortilla. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I found a piece that I didn't get off, but it was like the fatty piece. Just throw that in the sink, it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken on there. And then I say with one fourth cup of cheese in our recipe, you might use more or less. Like seriously, you could make this a 600 calorie meal if you use too much cheese. So you measure that out if you want to. I kind of know the amount. So I'm gonna put that on top of my chicken. Oh my God, I forgot the barbecue sauce. Don't worry, you guys, it's fine. Usually what I do is I take the barbecue sauce and I layer it on top of the tortilla before I put it on the oven. That's fine, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ninja it on the other tortilla. So don't worry, little garlic salt and pepper on my one that's melting right now, because that's necessary. A little bit, a little bit. Um, don't do like me, I like to cook fast, so I put it on high and then I just burn the crap out of everything. Like turn the heat down a little bit, it's fine. Maybe cover it with the lid, I'm not gonna though. All right, so I'm gonna take a serving of my barbecue, which is two tablespoons. Watch me measure this exactly. One, two, it's, I don't use two tablespoons, you guys. I think I use one. So don't listen to the two. I'm just gonna smush it around like this. I could get out a knife and spread it, but look at this. That's kind of cooking with cow. Woo! Almost came out the side. 
Yeah, one tablespoon is plenty. I'm gonna have to adjust my recipe. It's gonna be 30 less calories. Okay, now my barbecue sauce is already on there. God, I'm smart. Okay, so this is starting to melt. Do you guys wanna see what it looks like? Oh, cause I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll bring this little guy right on over here. Bam, look at that. Quesadilla in the process. Um, I think I am gonna put a little on it since I'm like trying to do it for reals for you guys instead of how I do it. So grab yourself a lid. short and sweet and I'm cleaning at the same time so I'm gonna pick up my mess as I go here a um, couple things all right when you guys watch kind of cooking with cows you'll notice I use the same things over and over and over again right Greek yogurt protein tortillas you could add some Greek yogurt onto this I wouldn't it's barbecue that seems weird um, a low-fat cheese generally like a white mozzarella shredded cheese is really low-fat and fantastic um, and then a lot of preps, just shredded chicken or shredded pork um, that's already been cooked, pre-cooked is great. So I have a video called like your 10 or 12 essential groceries. If you guys haven't watched that, like I took the, my essential things I always have and just put them together and it would be good to watch that. So just if you're, wherever you're at, just go and look and search for the 12 essential groceries. Okay, we have friends showing up right now. No problem, we're gonna finish up. So I'm gonna take my barbecue and I'm gonna to toss this baby on top, like so. I'm gonna spray the other side, like so. I forgot about the ranch. Come on in, sister. We're just kind of cooking with cow, going live right now. You guys can jump on in. Ranch it up and then it's what, it's what you do. And then grab a spatula from the baby bottle drawer. That's not where a spatula goes, you guys. It's with the spatulas and the spoons. And this is the trickiest part. You gotta try to flip this baby without destroying it. Just like that, ninja style. Okay, so I got the little like black pieces that look like they're burnt. That's actually the ranch seasoning and they are freaking hecka good. I look, I went from hella good to hecka good so I didn't say hella in front of your kids. And then I said it twice. Um, so now this baby's cooking. I'll, I'll pull it out in just a second and you'll see what it looks like. So remember, 370 calories, 30 grams of protein, actually 30 calories less now. So 350 calories, 40 calories, 40 calories, because I didn't need as much barbecue. Although, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna dip it in barbecue sauce. So it's just the same amount anyways. So this is our barbecue chicken quesadilla. That took me how many minutes? How many minutes long? I don't know how long this video is. This is how long it took to make dinner. Right? And that baby is gonna be gorgeously done. And then I'm just gonna show you what one looks like. Did you know you should always cut everything with a pizza cutter? It makes life easier. Everything. Rice Krispie treats? Pizza cutter. Did you ever know that? I just maybe did that last weekend and I came to a kind of cooking with cow because guess what? They weren't healthy at all. So now I've got this morsel of steaming chicken quesadilla barbecue barbecue chicken quesadilla i don't know you guys know the name of it okay that's all i have guys oh hot i don't know maybe it's really hot